Oh, Jerry, there was actually something I wanted to say before we got started today. Go fuck yourself. Hey there, kids, it's me, Safari Sam. And it's, uh, it's time for another episode, fuck you. Anyways, today we got this puppy. And many of you might be thinking, that's not a fern fossil. And indeed it's not. Indeed it's fucking not. No, 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 no. You see, this is the actual fossil we're looking at today. But before that, we got to do our newest... We got to do our newest segment. So, we're starting to learn how to repair and restore, clean, prepare uh, natural specimens on the show. And fossils are what we've been working with the most because that's what gets the most views. <coughs> so, uh, we recently repaired this Moroccan trilobite, Skelmon trilobite, and uh, it's pretty rad, it's pretty ace. This one's a very obvious repair. Like, uh, there was a little bit on the front that kind of gave away uh, the Odidus shark tooth, but the Mosasaur tooth looked great. But this trilobite has clearly been in two halves at some point. But the fact that I was able to reattach them at all is uh, just very, very ace. I will be selling it. Of course, it'll of course be cheaper than a whole one that wasn't repaired, but uh, still, very, very cool. Very happy to have that. So, now on to our main specimen for the day. This fern fossil. Very cool. Very cool. Look at that thing. So, ferns first appear in the fossil record about 360 million years ago in the late Vonian period, but many of the current families and species did not appear until roughly 145 million years ago in the early Cretaceous. After flowering, plants came to dominate many environments. The fern Osmuda claytonia is a paramount example of evolutionary stasis. Paleontological evidence indicates it has remained unchanged, even at the levels of fossilized nuclei and chromosomes, something I have far too many of, for at least 180 million years. And that's ungodly impressive. That's insane. I wish we had a microscope so we could look at this. I also wish we had a better lighting guy, honestly. Look at that. Awful. Hmm. But yeah, ferns are not of major economic importance, really, except maybe in the fossil industry itself. But some are used for food and medicine, or as biofertilizer, as ornamental plants, very much so. And uh, for decorating the sets of movies set in prehistoric times. And for uh, remediating contaminated soil, which is actually very interesting. They've been subject to research for their ability to remove some chemical pollutants from the fucking atmosphere. I'm the biggest chemical pollutant on set, though, and, I mean, they brought this here, so I hope they're not trying to get rid of me, you know what I'm saying? Alright, nobody on set left, so I'm just going to keep going. Uh, some fun species, such as breaking, breaking, as in I'm... Um, I hope I'm not going to be breaking this fossil later. Uh, and water fern are significant weeds worldwide. Some fern genera, such as Azola, can fix nitrogen and make a significant input in the nitrogen nutrition of rice paddies. And they also play certain roles in folklore. But as I mentioned, a big role of theirs is just decorating the sets of prehistoric films. You ever see a movie set in prehistoric times, especially dinosaur times, they're probably going to have a bunch of ferns just fucking the whole place up. But yeah, look at that puppy. That is a gorgeous fossil. This was actually much cheaper than a lot of the fern fossils it was with. Uh, the others were much smaller, and this one was the same price, even though it was the smallest fossil, and the, even though it was the biggest fossil, and the nicest fossil. I will fix it in post. But anyways, that's it for today's specimen. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, check out all, all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And uh, yeah, that's it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. So we're taking this fern right back to the store, right? Like we're going to return it. That's why you rushed this episode, correct? That's why the lighting was rushed and the script was rushed. Blah, blah, blah.
because we got to take it back to the store because we can't afford to keep it. All right, no, that's fine by me, Jerry. I just want to make sure. 